Since the very beginning, the entrepreneurial spirit was alive in Novi. From the earliest farms and orchards to the first blacksmith shops and sawmills, by the late 1830s, taverns and general stores began to pop up. It wasn't long before the intersection of what is now Grand River and Novi Road became known as the Four Corners. It was the crossroads for economic development. By 1964, there were over 170 businesses listed here. In the 1970s, plans were laid out for a new development that would have a huge impact on the future of the city. Hudson's, Sears, and the Al Topman Company were looking for a location for a new regional shopping center. What really drove Novi forward in a big jump was the advent of um, 12 Oaks Mall. What people don't realize though is Novi was the third choice as a site for 12 Oaks Mall. Uh, the prime site initially was Farmington Hills and, and they were, I believe, turned down there in, in Farmington Hills. The second site that they wanted to go to was um, uh, West Bloomfield Township. There was a section and they had, the, they had selected that as the location. And I happened to own a little 20 or 30 acre piece that I did sell to the guy that was working, but for a number of reasons that did not take hold. That community did not want a regional shopping center there. There must have been a thousand people at that public hearing. And, uh, you know, they were jumping up and down. They said, you know, we don't, we don't want this regional center here. Uh, Al Taubman was there himself. And uh, when the township board voted down the zoning request for the regional center, I remember walking out in the parking lot and uh, Al Taubman was uh, headed for his helicopter. The engine was already running and he had it parked in the high school parking lot. And uh, I couldn't resist. I just ran up to him and I said, we'll see you in Novi. And, uh, you know, and, and that's what, exactly what happened. The, uh, they wanted to break ground in uh, 1974. And we had, to, we had to redo the whole interchange. So we had to work with MDOT and the County Road Commission to rebuild uh, the I-96 Novi Road interchange. And I think the reason we were the third choice was that where the mall actually sits was a peat bog. Uh, unadulterated swamp bog. They took a mil I've been told they took a million yards of swamp junk out of there and then backfilled it with a million yards of sand. We had to bring a sanitary sewer uh, about a half a mile under the expressway and uh, we had to bring Detroit water all the way from 14 mile down to 12 mile and uh, we sold revenue bonds and we actually brought it all the way down to 10 mile to uh, interconnect with our southern system there and make a, uh, make a loop. That was really a big deal. And, you know, that was Novi's biggest project at the time. After they had their grand opening with the Detroit Symphony there and everything else, I thought, I don't even think any of us much got invited to that. And when I said something to somebody from Dayton Hudson at the time, they said, well, you don't think we expect to be in business with just people from Novi, do you? But he brought a lot of people into Novi. People started looking for property to be close to the mall. And uh, it was amazing because it was the expressway and the mall that really put us on the map. When the mall came, when the mall came, that's when it, uh, it opened up Novi. Yeah, the first uh, year or two in the mall, though, you knew everybody was shopping in there. You'd go shopping in the so mall. So what did you think when the mall came? What well, took away some hunting spots. <laughs> you know, I think it was certainly one of the first, you know, iconic things that were out here that people would gravitate from all other areas of the uh, metropolitan area to come to. If you look at it on the surface, the construction jobs in the beginning, I'm sure, were a big part of that. But, you know, at any given time, there are thousands of people that work in this facility. There are obviously hundreds of millions of dollars that are spent here on an annual basis. Um, and beyond that, you have all the development that came after the mall. So, you know, one of the biggest changes has been obviously the development of technology and stores like Apple were never even thought of, you know, 40, 50 years ago that are here today and certainly a prominent part of the shopping center. 
you look at all the, the, the things, I mean, the, the last 50 years as a city, you know, the, you know, bringing it back to the celebration of the 50 years, uh, uh, and certainly there's history even before that, but you look at where things are going and you've got the, you know, the framework and the makeup with that world-class retail center still in place. You've got the diversity of development that has, has resulted. You've got incredible quality neighborhoods, great school system. You've got you know, world-class medical facility in the form of uh, Ascension St. John Providence hospital system here. Um, we'd like to think that we're a, a part of it with a pretty decent quality uh, convention and exposition and trade center as well too. And still a lot of available both redevelopment and you know, new development opportunities, I think the future is very bright.